Within this lesson, we'll look at estimation to check for the reasonableness of a product. Here we'll start with the problem 216 times 485. We'll start with our standard algorithm first, 216 times 485. And so we'll start with those five ones times six is 30, zero regroup of three. Then five times one being five plus three being eight. Five times two being 10. So that 216 times five is 1,080. Then I'm dealing with the eight, which is worth eight tens. That's why I can place a zero. And then multiply that eight times that 216. Eight times six is 48. Eight regroup of four. Eight times one is eight plus four is 12. Two regroup of one. 8 times 2 is 16, plus 1 is 17. That other 4 there is worth 400. That's why I can go ahead and place two zeros. And then it's 4 times 6 being 24, 4 regroup of 2. 4 times 1 being 4, plus 2 being 6. And 4 times 2 is 8. Carefully add those together. I get my actual answer and my exact answer. And my exact answer is 104,760. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use an estimate to go ahead and check my results. To see whether or not my answer is reasonable. So I will teach, take each of those factors and I will round them. 216. We'll go to the hundreds place. So we'll go to 200 there and 485 is close to 500. In this instance, I did go and round 216 down, and 485 did move up by a little bit. Let's see what it is that our estimate for this product is. I have 200s times 500s. I know 10 hundreds is already 1,000, and so 100 hundreds is 10,000. That's 5 times 2 10,000s which is four zeros and another 10 there, or 100,000. So our estimated product is 100,000. If I was to compare the two of them there, it does look that like my answer is reasonable. Here I have another problem, 1,762 times 293. What I can do is I can estimate the product to the nearest hundreds place. 1,762 rounds to 1,800, and 293 would round to 300. Since I'm dealing with hundreds, I will place two zeros, and then it's 3 times 0 being 0, 3 times 0 being 0 again, 3 times 8 being 24. That's a 4 and a regroup of a 2. And then we have 3 times 1 being 3, plus 2 being 5. So our estimated product is 540,000. If we look at our factors to see what it is that we rounded these two, we did go 1,762 upwards, and 293 did go upwards as well, and did go up, meaning our estimated product is going to actually be um, higher for sure. We have this actually going up by 7 or 7 times almost 1,800, about 14,000 or so higher for sure. Let's see what our actual product is to be able to compare it. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 6 is 18. 8 regroup of 1. 3 times 7 being 21 plus 1 being 22. 2 regroup of 2. 3 times 1 being 3, plus 2 being 5. As we continue our work here, we're working with that 9, which is worth 90. That's why we can go ahead and place a 0. 9 times 2 is 18. 8 regroup of 1. 9 times 6 is 54, plus 1 is 55. 5 regroup of 5. 9 times 7 is 63, plus 5 is 68. 8 regroup of 6. And 9 times 1 is 9, plus 6 is 15 place two zeros, because that two is worth 200, two times two is four, two times six is 12, two regroup of one, 
2 times 7 is 14, plus 1 is 15, 5 regroup of 1, and 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. And then we will carefully add those together. We get 6, 6, group of 1, that's 3, 8, 12, 2, regroup of 1, 14 and 16, 6, regroup of 1, 1 and 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 3 is 5. So I have our project as 516,266. If I compare it against our estimate, our estimate should be higher, and it is. And so our answer does look like it is reasonable. Okay, it's your turn to try. Go ahead and estimate to the nearest hundred to be able to find the estimated product of these numbers. And then use your knowledge to go ahead and figure out the actual answer to be able to check your result. Pause the video. Six seventy three would round to seven hundred, two eighteen would round to two hundred, so an estimated product of this problem here would be you can place four zeros and then seven times two is fourteen. I'll place a comma and then so that seven hundred times two hundred is one hundred forty thousand, and this here is our estimated product. I placed the first step for the, our actual answer, and then working on the second step here. And finally, the third step, we can place two zeros. Two times three is six, two times seven is 14, four regroup of one, and two times six is 12, plus one is 13, and then we carefully add those together. Adding them together, does give us our product of 146,724. Check your work against the screen here. Go ahead and work on one more problem. Go ahead and estimate each of those factors to the nearest hundreds place. To go ahead and solve for an estimate and do work on the exact answer as well. Three thousand two hundred fifty six would round to three thousand three hundred. Three hundred twelve would round to three hundred. Since we're dealing with hundreds as that second factor there, we can go ahead and place two zeros. And then three times zero is zero. Three times zero is zero. Three times three is nine. And three times three is nine again. So we get 990,000 as our estimated product. Do note that we went up with that first factor and we went a little bit down with that second factor. Looked like we went about 12 down and 12 times 3,300. Um, hmm. <laughs> that would be about 36,000 that this answer would actually and should probably be lower and it should be lower for sure. I'm seeing there. Do note that we did go up by that one though. Let's look at the actual answer. For the first partial product of 3,256 times 2, you should get 6,512. For that next partial product, it is that 1, which is 10 times 3,256, so you would get 32,560, and then finally, that 3 is worth 300. <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and work through that product as well. 3 times 2 being 6, plus 1 being 7, 3 times 3 being 9, and then we will carefully add those two together. Sorry, barely have any room there to write a plus sign. 2, 7, 10, 18, 8, regroup of 1, 6 plus 1 being 7, plus 2 being 9, plus 6 being 15, 5, regroup of 1, 3 plus 7 plus 1 being 11, and then 1 plus 9 being 10. And then so I do have my answer there, 
and my exact answer being 1,015,872, which is higher than 990,000. And this does make sense because I actually took away 12 33 hundreds within my estimate here, which is about 36,000, although I did go a little bit higher with that there too. So the whole thing to remember as you're working through these types of problems is that you can use an estimate to go ahead and check your results. And in using an estimate to check your results, you really have to remember to go ahead and round each of those factors. In rounding each of those factors, you can choose the place that you round them to. And just do note that you should really be thinking whether your estimated product is going to actually be higher or lower than the actual product. In this case, we went down with both of those factors, so our estimate should end up being lower than the actual answer. So we had 160,000 as our estimated product, where if I was to figure out the exact answer, it would have been 174,795.